Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning from Los Angeles, California. We come together each morning to know the truth, live on spiritual principle, and align with universal law. So I'd like to begin with a story. Uh, It was actually a true story, 1999. I remember I was in my very first seminar. It was a four day long seminar. I remember like being really nervous for it, showing up. And over the four days, I sat next to this one girl, and we became very, very good friends over the four days. So one of the days, I think we're on lunch and just started gabbing. I said, you know, how long have you been in the self development world? Is this your first seminar and so on and so forth? And she says, actually, I was in it for a little bit, but I got completely out of it about a year ago. And then I'm just coming back full steam now. She said, I She said, I actually went to, I hired a coach. She had been in some self-development and she hired a coach. It was, he was very expensive. She said it was $80,000 in 1999. That was a lot of money. And she said that basically she went to her first coaching session and he basically screamed at her and he said, what are you committed to? And she kind of like was all scared and she was like, I don't know. And he screamed again, what are you committed to? And she just kind of like stood there in shock. She didn't know how to answer. And basically, he said that she just, they weren't a right fit, that he gave her money back and said that he only works with highly committed individuals who are committed to success in their personal and professional lives. And I'll never forget that because we were kind of laughing. And and what I realized, you know, after that, conference after that seminar and after doing, you know, 23 years of of so much work, subconscious work and self development and seeing the patterns of all of it and seeing incredible platforms um, that I work with. The reality is this, until you're committed, nothing's going to happen. I've witnessed over and over within myself and clients in areas of their life where they're not truly committed that they just, they just can't have it, you can give them the best information in the world, and they won't be able to implement it, or they're sabotage it or whatever, because they're just not truly committed. And so the topic today, and the title, and what I really want to inquiry in for yourself today is, what are you committed to? What are you truly, truly, truly committed to? You know, there's a great uh, story of, of a student that goes and he hears that there's uh, a monk up in the hills that basically can teach enlightenment. And one day he kind of strolls up the mountain and, and knocks on the door. And the monk opens the door. And the student says, Hi, I heard that you can, you know, teach enlightenment. I'm wondering if I could, you know, be your student. And the monk slams the door in the student's face. So the student, he kind of turns around, he kind of starts taking a few steps. He's like, wait a minute, maybe I should be a little bit more determined, you know. So he turns around and he knocks on the door again. And the the monk, you know, eventually opens the door. And he goes, please, like, I I really am interested in, in learning about this thing called enlightenment, you know. And the monk slams the door in the guy's face again. The guy turns around, he's like walking down the hill. And he's like, shit, you know, like, I got to figure this whole enlightenment thing out. So he turns around, he goes, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. And goes, he just bangs and bangs and bangs. Finally, the monk opens the door and he goes, please, 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 I have to learn enlightenment, please, I'll do anything. So the monk, you know, he goes, well, let's go for a walk. So they go for a walk, like out in the forest, and they're kind of walking, they're walking, it's like, you know, three miles into it. And it's as soon as like, you know, what's up? Like, you are you going to teach me anything you know so they're walking a little bit more and they're they come to like this pond and the monk goes let's go over to this pond and he goes take a look at yourself in the water and the and the student looks down at the water he sees this reflection he's thinking oh maybe i'm going to really learn something about the reflection and how life reflects back to me or something like that And lo and behold, the monk takes his head and he shoves his head down into the water and he's like holding him down. And the the student's like literally like running out of air and, and stressed out and is like about to drown. And the monk pulls his head out of the water and the student's like spitting out spit and sucking in air. And he's like, oh my God, what are you doing? And the monk said, when you want enlightenment that bad, you'll get it. And this is the point is that until you truly, truly are committed, 
at such a core level that you're willing to do anything. You want it as much as you want your next breath. You want it as much as anything in this entire life. Like you will not be fulfilled without the completion of the success in what area you're, you're ready for. It's just not going to happen. And so I think it's such an important conversation to have. What are you truly committed to? I'll never forget going through a transformational program years ago, and it was on the topic of commitment. And oftentimes when we think of commitment, we think of a to-do list, not very fun, like I've got to be committed. But the true thing is that underlying all of it, we have commitments. We just aren't even really even aware of them. They're in our subconscious. We've made the decisions. They're there, okay? So I remember going through this uh, one process, and, and clearly I'm committed to to my own self-development. I'm, I'm committed to my own enlightenment. I'm committed to that seeking. It is something that I can't deny. Like I, it's not like I have to like make myself try and be on this journey. Like I'm so committed. It's ridiculous. But I remember taking a look at my health and the area of commitment around that. And then I had a profound awakening, realizing that I wasn't so much committed to health as I was committed to being thin. And I realized this through some processes, you know, that as long as I was really thin, then I would allow myself to eat some junk or whatever. But if I started feeling a little like I was, you know, getting a little uncomfortable in my clothes, then I would, you know, tailor it down. But so the point is, this is I realized this. And it was it was groundbreaking. Because this is why. Because I think that when you realize that you're not fully committed to your goals, it's called torture. <laughs> There's no point in having goals and these big dreams if you're not truly committed to them. Otherwise, it's literally just torture. You're torturing yourself and kidding yourself in the dance of being halfway in and halfway out. We've all been in relationships where we're halfway in or halfway out. I mean, not all of us, but many of us. And it's, it's hell. It's a living hell is being halfway in, halfway out in anything in your life. You're either in or you're not. Like it's really that simple because life gets hard when you're doing your business, it gets hard when you're in a relationship, it gets hard when you're dealing with health issue, it gets hard. If you're not fully committed, then you, you got to do one of two things. You got to either be realistic and really get that you're not committed or you need to get mad. You need to literally do what it takes to get the impact of not doing what it takes to, to do your dream, right? So you got to get the impact. So oftentimes we're with clients and doing transformation and group, we get the impact. You know, what are you up to right now? And what's the likelihood of what that is going to look like 10 years from now, later, what are you going to deal with on your deathbed? What's the reality of what you're up to and what you're truly committed to right now? And what does that look like getting the impact of if you don't change? you don't do your subconscious work, if you don't get a coach, if you don't do these things, get a support group, get a community, do all these things that we know has to be done. It's like, it, you got to you got to get real with yourself. So my question and inquiry today for you is what are you committed to? Like, like 100%, like 1000%. And wherever you're not 100% committed, you got you got to get real with yourself. You're just, it's just a big torture to have those goals and dreams and then not actually be committed to them, right? So today we align with the law of divine will. The divine will, God's will, if you will, your higher is your will. You are spirit. You are that factor. You have the ability to command your subconscious mind and command and put in motion the entire universe. The absolute truth is that God's will is your will. God's not a man in the sky. God is that energy that is connecting all of us. That's in your intelligence at every cell and every single person's cell. That is your will. This law works in direct proportion to your ability to direct energy upon universal law by the power of your mind and the conviction of your heart. And let me tell you, the decision of the commitment. That is what sets it in motion. Divine will has nothing to do with the use of force or trying to do it or having a big to-do list or any of that crap. It literally is a belief within your soul. And when you have a belief and knowing that you have faith, that you can do anything you set your mind to, it's done. And so today's daily spiritual practice is to live your truth. Live what commitments you ha already have and figure out what your truth is and get freaking committed to it. And today's challenge is to get mad. I want you to get mad, like get the impact of what non-commitment looks like. 
and then use your frustration to make a decision of mine and commit to what you're truly committed to. And what I'm truly committed to is to living my truth, speaking, writing, and teaching truth. That is the greatest commitment I have. And so on that note, have a wonderful day and may you live your truth. Thanks again for tuning in to Dr. Aaron. I'd like to invite you to write a review for this podcast on iTunes. It's important that we like, share, and comment and support the communities that we love. In return, I have a free gift for you, 30 guided meditations, which you can find at draaron.tv. That's www.draaron.tv. Get inspired and learn to use your mind for good via my free app, which includes my daily live show, interviews, power talks, universal law lessons, and more. Also, if you're ready to take a quantum leap in your life, you can join my mastermind and you can claim your free digital masterclass with the purchase of my international best-selling book, Awakening, a 40-day guide to unleashing your spiritual powers, life purpose, and manifesting your dreams. Thanks again, and may you live your truth.